screencast. My name is Zan Ta and I work for Repro Products in Smyrna, Georgia. I am an Autodesk certified instructor and hold many certifications in multiple Autodesk products for the AEC industry. I hope you enjoy my screencast. If you'd like to see more of my screencast, please search for VAR 2015, that's V-A-R 2015, or my name. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up after you watch it. In today's screencast, we'll be taking a look at the Color Fill Legend command. This feature and tool allows you to take a view in Revit and give it some color. For example, we have here in the floor one view of this building, we can right click this view and we'll duplicate it. We won't do duplicate with detailing because I want to get rid of all the annotation information. We're going to go ahead and rename this view and call it floor plan, floor one color plan. Now that the now that we have the view set up, we can go ahead and start creating a color fill legend. I have nothing selected, and so in the instance property of the view, there is a section for color scheme and color fill legend. If I want to, I can click none inside here, and it opens up this edit color scheme dialog box. We have spaces, we have HVACs, and we have rooms. So let's just use rooms, for example, and go by name. And in the title, we can put in here uh, room name legend and it's going to look at the name and it's going to specify the actual value so you can see the names of all the rooms and their colors and their patterns you can click inside into any one of these colors and change them if you need to you can change the fill pattern to something else for example wood or plastic or plywood so on and so forth when you're all said and done you hit apply hit ok and now your plan is colored. If you need to put a legend, go to the Annotate tab of the ribbon, Color Fill Panel, click Color Fill Legend, and then go ahead and place that legend. And now it shows you your room name legend. If you want to, you can select that legend and click Edit Scheme. Get back in here and you can change it. So maybe we want to say Room Area Legend instead, and tell it to look at the areas. It will automatically update hit apply, hit OK, and now it's giving us the information that's by area. Lastly, if we click Edit Scheme, we can also say by range and change this to specify additional ranges. For example, let's make this to 500, 400, 300, 200, and 100. Hit apply, hit OK, and our room area legend is now set up. If I select it, I can actually pull these arrows and you can make some adjustments to the width of the room area legends. So there we go. This is a quick screencast capture on the color fill legend command in Revit. Thank you for watching my screencast and please don't forget to give me a thumbs up.